Here's the situation. You have forecasted monthly sales for the year. You're going to replace the forecast with actuals as the months complete. What you need is a way to sum just the replaced forecasted numbers as they complete while leaving the rest of the months as forecasted. So let's take a look at this example. Here I only have three branches, forecasted sales for the year. I have some columns hidden just to save space. But you can imagine what a time saver this is going to be if I had a lot more. I'm not going to have to come in here and adjust the formula every month. So what I'm looking for is an actual year to date total. And I'm going to use the sum offset combo to do that. So let me come up here and show you how I fill out the offset formula. Um, first argument is the base. The base is going to be right here. I'm not going to lock it by hitting F4 because when I drag the formula down I want this to move. Rows. How many rows up or down do I want to move from the base? I don't. So this can stay blank. Columns. How many columns to the left or right do I want to move? I don't. So this can stay blank. Height. How tall is this going to be? How many numbers of rows should the sum be applied to? Well the sum's only going to be applied to the row that I'm in. So this can stay blank. Width. Now width is going to be the number of months completed. This is always going to change. So I'm going to use a cell reference right here and I'm going to come up here to refer to it. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it because when I drag the formula down I don't want that to move. So there's the formula. I can grab the corner and drag it all the way down. It's returning an error right now because this is blank. But let's just say now that January and February have completed. Now I'd have to come in here anyway as the months complete to do this. So I'm going to replace these numbers with what they actually ended up being. A step I just can't get around. But now here I have partial actuals and the rest are forecasts. I want to know what just the actuals were. I have my formula in here so all I need to do is put in the corresponding number. It's actuals through February so I'm going to type in 2. And there we go. Let's check it. LA 2000, 2100. You can come down here to see it should have been 4100. It is 4100. This is working. Anybody that looks at this can also see because of this that these numbers are actuals. The rest are forecasts. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.